For me, life is all about taking on a challenge. And the International Finance Facility for Immunization is all about providing and accelerating funding to Gavi to deliver vaccines in record time to children around the world. The idea is simple and yet revolutionary. It's all about harnessing the private sector's resources to address the world's social and environmental challenges. That is why IFIM was founded in 2006, making vaccine bonds available on the world's capital markets, freeing funds up immediately to help our partners deliver without having to wait for pledged donations to come in incrementally and over time. IFIM's first issuance, backed by six countries, was for $1 billion in the international capital markets. This issue allowed IFIM to seal its reputation as a pioneer in social bonds. With support from the World Bank, IFIM has issued vaccine bonds in the UK, Australia, and in the Eurobond markets. It has sold bonds to retail investors in Japan and to Islamic countries. We've developed really strong partnerships with banks and institutional investors all around the world. We are working with IFIM to facilitate fast-track execution of immunization programs through issuing bonds in the capital markets. This financial innovation allows the financial markets to assist the community in addressing societal challenges. IFM funding has helped Gavi scale up Pentavelin, polio, and measles programs, and it has helped Gavi to strengthen the health systems of lower-income countries. IFM funding was also on hand to help Gavi to respond to the Ebola crisis of 2014. And now working with Norway, IFM has enabled surge financing for CEPI, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, which is the forefront of developing a vaccine for COVID-19. A threat that knows no borders can only be met by coming together across borders. Norway recently backed the issuance of vaccine bonds for CEPI. This way, Gavi and CEPI can leverage resources in a collective approach to making us all safer. Together, we are ready and equipped to take on the most challenging global health crisis for more than 100 years. We thank all our donors for their leadership, for their continued long-term support, and for their vote of confidence in our work. For all these reasons, we're incredibly grateful. Thank you very much.